Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kingfish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys seven of the best cold water fish that you guys can keep in an aquarium without a heater. Now, most of these fish are good with about 60 degrees and upwards, and they prefer colder water. A lot of these fish can actually survive in very, very cold conditions. So 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, in Australia. Let me look it up. Hey Siri, what's 60 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius? 15.6 degrees. 15.6 degrees Celsius. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'll make keeps of aquarium related informational videos as well as a couple little entertaining ones. So if you're into that stuff, please consider subscribing and let's get into the list. So the first fish on the list is the barb. So we're talking stuff like the cherry barbs and all that kind of stuff. This is a cold water fish. You definitely don't need a heater for these guys. They're a pretty easy fish to take care of and they do get kind of larger than some of the other fish, but they're still a medium sized fish. So they get to about two to three inches big, which is I think yeah, two to three inches. One of the more aggressive fish in the list. So these guys will nip at fins, they're fin nippers. They are one of the fish that I would not recommend to keep in a community aquarium because of this. So they can get pretty aggressive and they can nip at fish with longer fins. So for that reason, they're not that great, but they definitely are a cold water fish that you guys can use. So the next fish on the list is something that's gonna be pretty interesting to you guys, and this is the endler. Now, when I'm talking about the endlers, I'm talking more about the black bar kind of endlers. These guys are the more wilder types of endlers. And now because the endlers have been in the hobby for quite a bit of time, they become more inbred and they've been bred to have certain colors and all that kind of stuff so they prefer the warmer water super hardy they take pretty much all kinds of water conditions they stay very small they're live bearers so they breed quite often so you'll have babies every 22 days if you have a group of these guys you guys can chuck these in your ponds outside you can keep them in your aquariums without a heater and they will do absolutely fine so those are a really good fish for you guys if you guys don't want to have a heater in your aquarium so the next fish on the list is the hillstream loach so the hillstream loach is a relatively new fish to the hobby we haven't had hillstream loach in the hobby for quite some time because they're really hard to catch but it turns out they're really really hardy and they will take a wide range of different kinds of parameters and these guys look so cool so they're like a stingray kind of fish they stick to the side of the aquariums they are very similar to the bristlenose poco and they eat a lot of that surface algae if you chuck some rocks in there they like a bit of movement in the water but they'll actually breed in the rocks and all that kind of stuff so they're really cool fish they take all kinds of parameters but they don't need heat in the aquarium so they can take heat but they're perfectly fine without it so if you guys want an aquarium with these guys in it it's perfect i wouldn't recommend putting them in a pond because it's just not really that much of a point but these guys are good in little tanks so the next fish on my list is the goldfish so the goldfish is a fish in the hobby that's kind of it's perceived to be a beginner fish i definitely don't think that at all i think that it's a pretty easy fish to take care of but the thing people forget is goldfish get big i wouldn't recommend keeping these guys unless you've got at least a four foot aquarium the reason they're here is because they are cold water fish they don't need a heater at all so they're super easy to keep you can chuck them in ponds and all that kind of stuff one thing that i've noticed in australia is you definitely need a net over the top of the pond because fish love to take your goldfish. They've got such big fins and they can't swim fast. They're super easy to catch. So that's my one piece of advice I'm going to give you guys. They are a cold water fish and they do belong on this list. Next up on the list is minnows. So I'm talking about white cloud minnows and pretty much all the fish related to these guys. So these are kind of similar to the Danios. They are uh, egg scattering fish and they are a top dwelling fish and they kind of go around the aquarium. They're real, real cool looking. They're a cold water fish. They're from, I think, China. So you don't really need to have a heater in the aquarium. They belong on this list because of that factor. They're a good community fish so you can chuck them in with a bunch of other stuff and they go great and they're an easy fish to take care of they don't get very big they stay under two inches so if you guys are looking for something that looks like the ones i'm showing you up here perfect fish i definitely recommend these guys the next two fish on the list are kind of interesting and i'm going to first of all talk about the cpd which is the celestial pearl danio so these guys are so cool i'm really looking forward to keeping these one day because they look like mini trout they stay very small they're a darty kind of fish they're not as nippy as the danios like the zebra and leopard danios that i've got so they've got this huge like celestial kind of pattern on them and they look so cool so they don't need a heater they're super easy to take care of they love flakes and they love all that kind of stuff but they stay very small so great fish to add to your aquarium as well they also school so awesome fish to try out and the last fish on my list is the platy so the platy is one of the easiest fish and most common tropical fish to keep in the aquarium hobby but people don't really notice this they are also a cold water fish so they like warmer temperatures but they also like colder temperatures so they're not too affected by the temperature of the water so you guys can keep these without a heater they come in heaps of different colors they're a live bearer so they breed super easy and they are so easy to take care of it's not even funny so you might have problems with these guys overbreeding they overbreed in the wild habitats because when they get introduced they just breed like crazy you can get all different styles they are so easy to take care of so that was a list of the top seven cold water fish in my opinion if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like down below and i'll see you in the next one